hands. Very good. Done. Oh, finally. After about five hours, it's fucking done. I have all of them done on the riot shield. This, like, whole challenge isn't done, obviously, but fuck, I am glad to be done with, I, what my opinion, one of the hard, one of the harder ones. I'm definitely gonna do the harder ones first. Can I even put a charm on this weapon? I don't know if I can. No, I can't. So I have to put it on, like, what the, the, the knife doesn't get one either. There it is. The riot shield mastery charm. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm just going to be discussing something that I'm actually trying in Call of Duty right now. This is something that is definitely not uncommon, at least in knowledge, but I don't know how many people have actually gone out and tried to do this. So what I've done is I've actually taken it upon myself to go for a new mastery challenge. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, like, Dia, we've seen it in the videos. You have Orion, you have Interstellar. What type of challenge could be? Is it the zombies camos? And it's that's not what I'm talking about, but that is something I'm going for. What I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be going for the charms, the Grand Mastery Grind. Over here, if you look at the right shield, as you'll see, I have the Urban Zebra camo, and then I have Gold, Platinum, Polyatomic, and Orion for the right shield. But if we go over to View Weapon Mastery, you'll see that I have the Gold Mastery, the Platinum Mastery, the Polyatomic Mastery, and the Orion Mastery done for the right shield. Thus, I have the right shield charm. Now, I'll be doing this for all of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, as well as the Modern Warfare 3 weapons. And a lot of guys are thinking, you had two years to do this, and now you're trying to crank it in what is to essentially six months. Well, I'm not expecting to finish. That is my thing. I am expecting to play a lot of Call of Duty because I've actually really enjoyed this COD, the movement, the way the game plays, the maps in general, like all of this. Like, and a lot of people can say I'm feeding off of nostalgia. I beg to differ. I think I'm just really enjoying the game as it is with the new weapons, the new engine, the old maps. Some of the new maps they're making are actually fantastic and so on and so forth. I just overall am really liking Modern Warfare 3. So if you go over here to the Zombies map, you can see I haven't done a single bit for the riot shield. The only thing I've done in terms of the bioluminescent grind is I've done the crossbow. Crossbow is gold. That's only because I was leveling it in preparation to get it Orion and do this challenge. I will admit that I have taken extra, I guess, quote unquote, precaution to kind of prioritize things to make sure that I do this right when like I'm passionate about it. What I mean by passionate is I want to do this. This is something I'm actually really looking forward to doing. So I'm doing the hard things first, like the riot shield. The knife is pretty fun. So I think that's a little twist in there. Then I'm going to do the launchers. And once the launchers are done, I'm going to do the handguns. I'm not going to do all the secondaries, then all the primaries, just because I really want to make this kind of fun for myself. And I know the pistols in, in Mono for two pistols, at least, were actually pretty solid. So I'm looking forward to doing the launchers and just getting those out the way. And then it should be literally nothing but fun. Just playing the fucking game, having a good time. And as you can see, I've already made significant progress on the knife in about a couple hours. I've done the gold. I've done platinum. I now am almost done with polyatomic and then we'll be on to Orion. And then the knife will be done. The only knife in Mono Warfare 2 Two, or sorry, the only base knife, I should say, in Modern Warfare 2 will be done. We're then going to be moving on. We'll do the launchers and my the primaries I'll be working on. Actually going to be doing the, probably the sniper rifles first. So that means I'll be touching on the MCPR, the Signal 50, the LAB, and the, I believe the SPX is also a base sniper rifle. I don't remember. I know the Karak 300 and the FJX Imperium are DLC snipers. I am 100% getting the FG, FJX Imperium. I'm sorry. It's literally the intervention and I can use it on terminal and I can use it on skid row and I can use it on all the other Modern Warfare 2 maps. I'm 110% getting the charm for this one, especially Modern Warfare 3 with the maps we have. Absolutely. Like, as you can see, there's a lot of work to do. We also have like all these marksman rifles, with Modern Warfare 2, and we have so many rifles. And the, but the best part of it is just play the game. There's no, I don't have to jump through any hoops. I don't have to jump through any special conditions or anything like that. All I have to do is just play the game the way I enjoy it. That's gonna be great. I would just, I play a lot of Call of Duty as is, I might as well do this. So I'm gonna be going ahead and doing this. And the reason I'm making this its own separate video is because I want to show you guys what you're gonna be expecting in the upcoming videos, what if I touch on everything constantly. And I kind of wanted to make this its own standalone video. The clips you saw at the beginning are my first steps to kind of starting this challenge. So I at least have a, like a video saying, this is when I started it. And yes, I completed the shield a couple days ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark today April 29th, 2024 as the start date for the challenge. And I'm going to be marking it as kind of just this point of you took it upon yourself to do this challenge. You really wanted to complete it. How much can you get done before the release of Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War, which yes, I'll be playing. Yes, I'll be making a ton of content. And I also want to take this opportunity in the video to say that I will be streaming. Now I've gone through a lot of only YouTubing, only streaming, only YouTube, only stream. I'm going to try and do both. I'm not going to be streaming 
streaming on a set schedule, meaning just for the time being, my focus still YouTube. I still plan to get daily uploads out as much as possible daily or semi daily uploads out as much as possible. I want to try streaming. I miss streaming. I really enjoy it. I think it's super, super fun. I didn't feel like I got a lot done with streaming. I felt like, you know, at least at my low quote unquote low viewer count, I really didn't feel like I was getting a lot done. Uh, and I was running out of time. I was streaming too much and running into like, you know, having trouble getting content from the stream into uh, my videos. So what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try and do up daily uploads as much as possible. And if I hit a cool highlight on Twitch or whatever, I'll throw it into a YouTube video. At the moment, we're just going to be looking at streaming when I can. And this is the challenge we're really going for. So if you guys do want to join in on the streams and kind of see what's going on and participate with the content other than YouTube, make sure you check out my live streams at twitch.dv forward slash I Diato, I D I A T O. The link to that will be in the description of the video. And thank you guys for hanging out today. If you guys did enjoy this video as well, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. It also makes you know that you enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia signing off. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.